Hey guys, I just want to show you my beginner setup. Uh, you know, I, it's funny, and if you put out YouTube videos, you'll always have guys that want to comment and, and tell you they're, like how wrong you are or what you're doing's wrong or unethical. You guys know, you've seen the videos lately, somebody telling somebody else they did something wrong and uh, you know, just all that stupid jazz. But anyway, I had a guy comment a few weeks ago saying that I had a beginner set up. And um, if beginner set up is what he meant by saying that I didn't have like $20,000 in equipment to wash houses, then I mean, I guess he's right. So I'm just going to walk you through my beginner setup. I got Flexzilla hose for water hose. I got told the other day that I was, I didn't have a clue what I was doing because I was using water hose for water hose. This is pressure hose from Pressure Tech, 200 foot GP reel, general pump reel. That's just a water hose reel. This right here is a little cheap reel and it's a half inch poly braid hose. Uh, had a guy, probably the same guy, tell me I didn't know what I was doing with this stuff. That all my hose, the only hose I had right was this one, which was funny. You know, uh, the, the people can, you know, their comment, you know, maybe it made me 15 cents that day because they watched the video enough to comment uh, what they thought about my rig. This hose is six years old. I have ran tons and tons and tons of bleach through it. And every so often, you'll have a few little lines in it and it'll get bad and I'll just, I'll just cut it and it keeps working. It doesn't collapse, it's poly braided. It's amazing, that hose has been great. But I had a guy tell me the other day that, that, that I was using the wrong hose for soft washing. It works for me, so I don't know how it could be wrong, but you know, hey, thanks for the comment. Uh, just a little cheap water hose reel. Now, would I love to have $1,500 electric stainless reels up here for looks? Absolutely. Would I love to have $1,500 electric stainless reels up here so I could just push a button and it reel up on its own? Absolutely, but I don't. My skid is wood, it's brand new. I just made it a few months ago. Got a ladder rack from Harbor Freight. Titan straps holds my ladder up. Ladder rack's, ladder rack's bolted in from the side down through there. Uh, would I love to have a stainless skid? Absolutely. It's going to last longer than this would. Uh, but it's going to cost probably 15 times much or 15 times more. So that's not anything I'm interested in. I run a 12 volt uh, pump. I love that. I love, love it for everything that I do. I don't do anything to where that's not enough. I'm not interested in an air diaphragm. I'm not interested in uh, the the gas-powered roof pumps that everybody talks about. I'm not interested in none of that. This right here serves me well. I batch mix. I hear guys tell me all the time that I'm crazy because I'm batch mixing 50-50 uh, bleach. My bleach is 15%. I cut it 50-50, 50% bleach, 50% water, one to one, two to two, however you wanna look at it. That's what I do, 5%, however you wanna look. So when it pulls through that downstreamer, it is absolutely plenty enough to wash anything that I need on a house. That same tank that is 50-50 has a hose that comes down through here and it runs through this three-way valve to my 12 volt pump. So in case I was doing like a chimney like I did today or a roof wash or pre-treating brick or concrete. So I have that. I have a buffer tank. I had a guy tell me the other day that my biggest problem with my water hose was I was trying to uh, gravity feed my pressure washer. Well, if you guys have watched any of my videos this year, you'll realize that um, I'm not gravity feeding it, it's actually pulling. Because if I was to unhook that, there's just gonna be a little bit of water coming out. It's pulling from that tank. That pump has been great. Maybe I got lucky, maybe it's just the way it is. I don't know, but I love it because it pulls. 
I can stay off the trigger. I have a buffer for like today. I was out here, I had low water pressure so I could fill that up while I was running and I never had to worry about cavitating the pump or running it, at, running it dry. Uh, matter of fact, I went, there's a little building down there that I did concrete on that didn't have water hookup. I was able to take my tank down there and pull from it and go at it. My machine's four gallon. Yes, would I like to have an eight gallon? Absolutely. You know, I'd love to have, uh, uh, I have, what here? I got this little three-way ball valve, right? This is for my downstream injector. That pulls from the bleach, pulls bleach. This right here pulls from my buffer tank for water. That allows me to, one, rinse my injector when I'm done, which is great. But I like using the soap tips on my J-Rod for volume when I'm rinsing. So I can flip it this way and I have water coming through. Works great. So uh, you guys that just want to hate on other people, hey, do, do, do whatever you want to do, okay? Uh, because you're going to do that anyway. But don't think that it's going to bother me. Now, you may listen to this video and go, so, well, dang, it sounds like you're a little bothered. No, I'm not really bothered. I just want to make it a point because when people watch other people's videos and you have know-it-alls on there and they act like they run the industry or their way is the only way or their equipment is the only equipment uh, that you can buy, when you have stuff like that and you got a new guy coming in, he may, he, he may not know the difference between, you know, what's right and what's wrong or oh i have to do this i have to do that like that through a ball valve is great would i love to have a flow pro absolutely now does that mean uh that it's going to be on this truck this year no just because i want it doesn't mean it'll it's going to happen now when god sees fit for my business to grow as much as i need to where i can drop eight hundred dollars on a, a, a flow pro and I can drop 15 grand, you know, on a skid or whatever, then, hey, I'll do that. But you call it a beginner setup, yes. Uh, this is what you would want to start with. If, if I had somebody call me and say, hey, I'm interested in pressure washing, could you recommend anything to me? I'd recommend everything that I have here. Ever the way I have it set up, I'd recommend every bit of it. Um, but with that being said, thanks for the comments. Thanks for uh, taking the time out of your day to let me know what you think about my equipment, good or bad. Leave a comment, good or bad. It all, it all works out the same. Constructive criticism, negative criticism, whatever it is you want to put forth, uh, you know, whatever. But if you guys are starting out, don't let somebody else tell you what you need to be doing. You know, you can do your own research and go from there. Uh, all this stuff could be upgraded 100%, but it all gets the job done. It may be a little bit slower, and time is money once you're really, really busy. But when my business takes off and I'm able to upgrade, you will see upgrades. Uh, this is my second year full-time in pressure washing. Yes, I've been making videos, and I've been pressure washing now with a mix. You know, I had a, a lawn service, too, and landscape business. I gave that up last year. This is my second year going into uh, the season, only pressure washing. So, uh, with that being said, we have happy customers. We have uh, great customers. Uh you know, you hear Mike say all the time, people over profits. I love I, I love making a profit, but I absolutely love making good relationships and having good relationships. These people that I watch for today, uh, great relationship with them. They're gonna recommend me to their friends. They're very well known. Um, so, you know, it is people over profit. But I'd like having both. I like having the profit and I like having the people. And when you run a good business and you don't overcharge, uh, you can do that. But that's my time for today, guys. You can guess you can call it a rant. You can call it whatever you want. But this is my beginner setup. I love the comments. You got some more comments, send them my way because uh, I'll answer them. And uh, that's it. So anyway, we'll catch you guys next time.